Yo guys, what is up? It is your boy Sephalic here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Welcome back to another video on the Skymic Craft server. It feels great to say that. It's been about a year since I've made a video up here. We got a lot of stuff going on. It's been it's been crazy. We've we've done a lot of stuff up here. Haven't made any videos, unfortunately. But I'm gonna catch you guys up on everything. Nothing much has really changed over here in my area. I did add some rules over here. And there's a little map over here. And I'm going to try to fill all of this up. See, like, all of this water here. I'm going to try to fill all of that up the same way I've got this right here with the little road system and all that. As you can see, that right there is empty. So, i uh, got a lot of space to do some stuff in there. So, we're going to be putting some stuff in there in some future videos. So, stick around for that. But I'm going to go ahead and move over to the town. And I'm going to show you guys what we've been up to over there. Alright, so coming through the nether portal here, I did end up changing the design of the floor here. Wasn't really messing with the cobblestone and the glowstone the way it was looking, so I switched it up a bit. Left some glowstone here for some lighting and stuff. Still gave it another theme, but that's what this is looking like. And I'm pretty sure you guys have already read the title of this video, so I'm going to save that right there. I'm going to save that mall for last, but we're going to go ahead and move on over there. We got a library. We're going to check that out. We got a villager breeder over there. We got some stuff going on over there with the train station. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so when you walk out this way, we got a little villager breeder over here. So I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to show you what we got going on over here. We got this thing set up, so it's breeding some villagers. And once we find the villagers that we got, the ones that are worth having, we got this minecart system set up and brings them all the way over here to this library that we got here. Now, this library's design might change over time, but for now... We're just going to stick with it as it is. We got a lot of stuff here still left to do. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very incomplete. I mean, we got freaking, we got freaking minecarts running all the way through the middle of the town. Like, everything is under construction at the moment. But we're going to have it set up so there's going to be villagers behind every single one of these little podiums here. That one right there says Fortune. And it's going to, you know, it's going to be the villager with that book. And it's going to be that like that for every single row we're gonna have rows there we're gonna have rows there we're gonna have rows over there we're even gonna have a freaking upstairs so we're gonna try to have pretty much every book in the game pretty much everything of value because why not so that right there is the mall that i'm working on right now it is very incomplete at the moment also but that's what i'm going to be trying to work on trying to complete in today's video as you can see Everything is just completely empty in here. We're going to go ahead and try to fill it up a bit, make some shops happen. We already do have some people working on some shops over here. I think Nick has a shop over here, and I have a shop over here as well. I think Joe's going to start work on a shop right there. But I got a shulker box store right here, and Nick is actually selling some potions right here. So the mall is about to come together. We got a little station right here so everybody can come in here and get their stuff out of their inner chest. You know what I mean? So got it going on in here we're gonna gonna add a lot of stuff to it but yeah all right so behind this mall we got a super smelter over here now we just built this off to the side because we didn't really want this in the way didn't want it you know it, it, i mean it's kind of big and kind of bulky didn't want it in the way but we got this over here set up creepers around and whatnot that's that's not what we want uh try to not lure them over here but we got a zombie farm under here and as you can see, it's just a spawner with some ice and some water just flowing down like that right there. And that's eventually going to become a villager trading hall. All right, so to the other side of this mall behind it over here, we got like this zombie map mini game thing that my brother's been working on here. It's just going to be something to keep us entertained while we're playing on the server. You know, we're going to get bored and want something to do. It's a little mini game type thing. Uh, you press this button here and some zombies go ahead and start spawning in. I got full kitted stuff, but we're going to have it like where you unlock stuff as you go. There's going to be multiple layers as you can see the spawner in there. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be pretty interesting, but it's under construction as well right now. So you guys will see this in a future video. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just followed my brother over here to this area. I got him in the room here with me, and uh, 
yeah this is like his little farming area he's got all kinds of stuff set up here i'm gonna go ahead and let him explain some of this to you and we're just gonna kind of follow him around and he's gonna give you a little tour of this right here we have a uh, iron farm right here it usually drops about about a double chest or so an hour that going to between the flowers and the iron but right now we have a lot of uh witches that actually got struck by lightning so i put that roof up right there so it kind of decreased my rates right now but it's still dropping iron golems and if you stand here for a second you'll probably see one spawn i'm pretty sure might take a minute it works trust me <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, what, what else you got to show? What else you got to show? <laughs> anyway, he come on over here, and I, I, it must have rained a while ago or something, because they, they don't usually work while it's been raining. But, uh, <laughs> Any excuse right. you got? Oh, right. uh, do you really, we'll stand over here and wait for I'm telling you, it'll spawn, but. Crappy rates right now. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm not going to just stand over here and wait. I'm telling you, they're going to they're gonna spawn. Wait, hold on, let me pull out my telescope. Make sure I ain't too many turning the witches. Uh, there's a bunch of them back that way, but it shouldn't be enough to keep them from spawning. But I'm only really doing this because I'm showing them on camera. Let's come back this way. I'm gonna let it chill up for a second. It might have to work. I may have to work a certain amount of hours. I don't want that. Anyway. You come over here, and right here is the creeper farm. Right here, Cre where, where are you going? Where are you going? If you look at this right here, normally you'll see these right here drop down. And, uh, if you look through the window here long enough, but there's all uh, spiders and creepers spawn through here. And if you come down here, you can kind of see some of the loot that we've got in some of these chests, and you can go look at them. Now, everybody here just cuts it off because they get super full. Uh, you can look at any of these shits. They should. Hear, I think all of them are full. Matter of fact, might have to the system off. I was getting a few more stacks of gunpowder so we could uh, or the TNT mines and the Nether and stuff. And that goes down, you know, right to the ground. And. It, this right here is going to be the bamboo form, which is working pretty good. It comes down here, it produces quite a bit of bamboo. I can't get down the scaffolding. But if you go on down there to the bottom of things like the last couple of chests, right here, fill it up. And that's how we're making the scaffolding to run all our furnaces and stuff, and super smothers and stuff you've seen before, and using the string from the creeper and gunpowder form. And it, these are just two small forms that don't take much. Got a little small sugar cane form just for rockets. If you come over here, this right here is going to be what's going to really get you, Skeeter. This last furnace over here. Come grab it. You show, show your XP before you pull something out. All right, I got 52. I got 52. All right, all right. Now grab that in that furnace there, that piece of potato that comes out and put it in your inventory. All right, now back out. Let's see what you got. 76. But hit it, hit it about twice or more. All right, hit it one more time, and then let's see what you got. All right. 93. Let me hit it one more time. One more time for the one time. That puts you at 100? 107, 107. So um, I've been working right here. That's what that potato form is really powering. It's powering this right here and the scaffolding's what's running these. And all these right here will give you XP, but I'm mostly focusing on this one right here. And just, uh, I've got a AFK account over here just powering the iron form and this form and the bamboo form and the creeper form and the there's a couple more things that come around here, but I'm probably forgetting some stuff. Gotta work on tree form, a couple other forms and stuff. Let's go back and check this iron gold. I'm telling you, he's coming. <laughs> it's a thing. There it goes. Look, I told you. I gotta fix those witches though. They're uh, they're really hurting my legs. So, uh, they usually just fall like two at a time whenever I got all the villagers in there going, but you know. Lightning and AFK in here for like four days straight and it doesn't help. So I put that roof up so I get rid of the witches soon, put the villagers back. Might end up making this like 
two iron forms put together and make it super duper iron, you know, that just helps the beacons and stuff. And uh, that's pretty much in this, uh, uh, you know, train station kind of runs right into it too. And stuff. Um, we're still expanding and burning it up. So that's pretty much it for this area. Alright guys, so I'm back at the town now, and this was the train station thing that he was talking about here, and uh, we got some other stuff that I got to show you before we actually get into the title of this video. I know this is a lot of stuff to show you, like, it's been for freaking ever. So much stuff has happened, but we got, we got the train station set up here, we got the cart here, and here's all the different locations that you can go. You can go to the gold farm, which is where we're about to go, so I'm going to go ahead and click that button. But uh, we're going to have a creeper farm here. And this is going to go to the raid farm. It's broke, but it's coming back soon. This one's going to take you to the spawn. And uh, this one's going to take you to the inner man farm. But I really want to show you guys this gold farm. So we're going to go ahead and go take this trail. Alright guys, so I just arrived at the gold farm. As soon as you get here, you just come up this water elevator here. And this water elevator is going to take you all the way over here. Now, I think my brother is AFK in over here right now, but it's just got some extra storage over here. And I'm not sure what's back here. Uh, I don't even think that's anything back there. Uh, extra storage here. Got some doors here. He's got some AFK armor and his actual armor and stuff there. Got a bed here to reset the spawn point. Uh, this is a switch, you can make up a double spawn rates on it, as you can see, and almost all of these are freaking cool, we have stacks upon stacks upon stacks of gold, like, it's stupid how much gold we got, got some chest full of blocks, and I'm gonna wait to get that, blocks of gold, so I can put on, I can see freaking random gold in the corner right now, then the way to get back, you just press this right here, spawns in a mine cart and you just go ahead and ride back to the town all right so i'm back at the town now and i think that is pretty much everything that i wanted to show you i do have like a creeper farm and an enderman farm and stuff like that save some stuff for some other videos because we do really need to work on what the title of this video is so right here i've been beating around this uh we got this mall here in the town this is going to be right out here in the center of the shopping district I pretty much got the whole entire outside of it complete, as you can see. Uh, I probably do want to add on some more rooms over towards this way and add out, like, maybe even expand it this way as well. Got plenty of room to do so. But right now, we need to focus on trying to get some shops in the mall that we actually already do have because right now, it's just a big-ass empty building, and we need to do something about that, so... First things first, I want to start off right here. This is going to be uh, a replica of a, a dollar tree, actually. And I'm going to be calling this a diamond tree. So I think you guys might be able to guess where this is going to be going. And everything's going to cost one diamond. And I'm just going to sell simple stuff. Stuff that players can easily obtain. Stuff that is valuable and convenient. Just like a convenience store in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the shelves right now, and I'll get back to you guys in just a bit. Alright guys, so I do have the shelves put in for the diamond tree now. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and stock it up today. I'm going to save that for another video. But another thing I really want to work on, as you see, I have a lot of dark, empty space here. Definitely want to do something about that. We can't have this open and empty like this. So i got to figure out something to do for a center design. And then I think we're going to have this mall pretty much complete with just a bunch of empty stores to rent out to people to have their shops. All right, guys, so I've came back to my house. I have did a little brainstorming, and I think what I want to do for the center area of that mall, I think I want to do like a food court type area with a water fountain in the middle and like some chairs around for people to sit. You get what I'm saying? I think that's going to be the move for this think I got some good materials for this. I got some glass, some glowstone, and some oak wood, and uh, some, I should have some kind of, I think I have some, some slabs around here somewhere, some stone slabs. Let me see here. I think I got some stone slabs somewhere. Yes, right there, smooth stone slabs. Yeah, so I'm gonna use these slabs and uh, 
I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm not I'm not that good of a builder, but I'm gonna try to make something happen. Try to make something look somewhat decent. All right, guys. So I've spent a little time here, and I think this is the design I'm gonna go for. Uh, just gonna have like a little food court area over here where you can buy some food. Maybe even a little pop up shop right here later on. Maybe even something back here in this corner because definitely some room here we can even cut this wall out and expand the mall over that way if we start running out of room to put shops at but we have a little water fountain here in the middle and then i decided to go ahead and throw in some tables over here added in six of those Threw a random carrot down because why not tried to give the place some pretty good lighting it leads into this room right here which we already have some shops up and running uh got some cobblestone here that looks horrendous honestly i'm not even sure why that's there that doesn't need to be there there we go solved that problem but uh yeah seems like the mall is about pretty much done so i think that is pretty much the entire mall complete the only thing left to do is to rent out the stores inside and see what the members on the server have to offer see what kind of shops we come up with and see what kind of loot that we get this is definitely going to be great we not only are working on that we're working on that library over there we're also working on the enderman farm over there as well um my brother's still working on that creeper farm and like he said he wants to make that iron farm better as well so we got a lot going on on the server right now He's also going to be working on that zombies map, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to catch you guys in the next episode. We're going to go ahead and finish this off in the next episode. I'm going to start opening up some shops. We're going to get some stuff moving. We're going to get some shit happening. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Haven't made a video on Minecraft in forever, so not sure how I'm feeling about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Peace. Drifting, cruising slow, music low. Got a couple doobies rolled. Let me see how your mind flows. Time slows, I'm low. That's why we get lifted, breaking laws of physics. I'm gifted and prolific. All this L, I'm tripping. All these L's and I'm winning. Swimming to ascension through astral.